All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up GA4 with Google Tag Manager, and I'm going to do this on a WordPress website. Now, if this is the first time you're doing this, this can seem overwhelming and complicated. They haven't exactly made this whole process easy. However, how I'm going to show you in this video is going to be very straightforward and very easy to follow. So you don't have to worry about that. I basically cut out all the crap and I'm just going to show you how to just do the basics that you need to just set up GA4. Now, in a subsequent video after this one, I'm going to also show you how to track call links, uh, call link clicks, email link clicks and form submissions as well so that you can actually track when people get on the website and then either click the phone number or submit a form or click the email address, which is about as close to tracking a lead as you can get in most instances. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is actually set up a Google Analytics property and a Google Tag Manager account. So you're going to have to log into the Gmail or Google account that you want to use to manage these um, these properties or these these uh, accounts. So log into that account, and then the two places you want to go to are analytics.google.com. So if you remove all that, you have analytics.google.com. You want to go there, and you want to go to tagmanager.google.com as well. I'm going to put both of these links in the description below so that you can just click on them. But these are the two you want to go to. Now, when you go with a new account you're going to be met with basically this screen, which is going to ask you to set up a Google Tag Manager and a Google Analytics. So I'm accessing this from an account that I have that doesn't have anything set up just so that you can see what it's going to look like. You're going to end up on this page and you're going to end up on this page. And you want to hit start measuring. Hey guys, real quick, if you run a service company and you'd like to add at least 100 to $300,000 per year in new business guaranteed or you don't pay, just hit the link below to book a call with us and we'll show you exactly how we'll do that for you. Back to the video. Now, in order to set up the Google Analytics account, you just need to go through and fill out all these parts. So I'm just going to run through it quickly and show you what to do. This is very straightforward. You don't have to worry about this. Um, just select all of these just in case you ever need this. I'm pretty sure you can change these later. Hit next. Now you want to name the property. So I either name it the name of the business or the pro or the website. So I'm just going to put test here. Now you need to select these two correctly because you won't be able to change these later. Um, the time zone and the currency. So select whatever ones you want to use. I'm just going to leave these two for now since this is just a text, test account. Now in this case, you don't need to do this since we're like one month away from Google no longer supporting Universal Analytics. If you're watching this a little bit in the future, you're probably going to find that you don't even have this option. So don't worry about it. Hit next. Now you just want to select uh, the industry that you're in. I'll just pick whatever and pick small business, whatever. Click next. This one, you can just select whatever. I'm not honestly not even sure why they even ask these. There must be something to do with how they personalize your reports, but whatever. Just hit the one you think is most appropriate. Click create. Now it's going to create this. You just have to accept that. Just hit I accept. Um, and it's going to create this property for you. So now you're going to be able to actually go and get the codes that you need from Google Analytics. So what we're going to do is hit web. And then you need to put your website URL in. So I'm just going to go test.com. And then I'm just going to put test. And make sure you select enhanced measurement. That just helps and then click create stream. So this is what you need. Now it's going to set up the property essentially and give you the code you need to add to the website. So right now you need the measurement ID. That's the thing you're going to need in order to go into Google tag manager and, and get it to actually track this stuff. So you can also manually paste this code and do it without Google tag manager, but in order to track the other clicks, the like phone number clicks and stuff. It, it's just going to be easier with GA4 to do it with Google Tag Manager. Trust me, I tried to avoid doing it, but it's just easier to do it. And I'll show you how. So in this case, you need the measurement ID. So we'll leave that here for a second and we'll go and create the, the Google Tag Manager account. So I'm going to do a test one again. So test, select your country. I'm just going to go again, test.com. You want to select web. If you're doing a website, if you're doing an app or something else, I don't know how to do that. That's not my area of expertise. So if that is the case, you'll probably want to find a specific tutorial for that. However, it's probably a very similar process. So now you're going to hit create, accept their terms. Just go yes. All right. So now you have a Google Tag Manager 
account here. So now what you need to do is copy these two codes and paste them into the website. So what you need to do now is go onto your website. Now I'm going to be showing you how to do this in WordPress. This process is very similar in most other website platforms where they'll give you a code section where you can insert snippets of code into the website. So I'll show you how to do that now. So if you're doing it in WordPress, you're going to need to add a plugin that allows you to, to add the code to the header and footer and body. Now you could theoretically do this manually in the files, but I'm not going to show you how to do that. Most people are not going to do that. You can just do it with this plugin. It's going to be a lot easier. So insert headers and footers code, just type that in. And now you want to select this one. This is the one you want to use the yellow one. So I've already got that active on this website, as you can see. So one that you would hit, um, see here, you got installed, you would hit install and then you would hit activate and then it would have it active on the website. So once you have that active, what you want to do is go into settings and WP headers and footers, which is where that plugin is located. And now it's going to allow you to insert scripts in the header, scripts in the body, scripts in the footer. So if we go back to the Google tag manager, we need to copy the head one and put that in the header. And now the, this other one, the body tag, you want to copy that and put it in the body section. Now, if your website doesn't allow you to uh, insert code into the body like it does here, or the plugin you're using doesn't let you do it, then just put it in the footer. That is a way that it'll also work. So now you just hit save once you've done this. And now the settings are saved and the code is now inserted onto the website. So now we can go back to Google Tag Manager, hit OK. And now what we want to do is create a new tag. So then you hit add new tag. And now you want to just call it GA4 and then whatever you want. So I'm just going to put the measurement ID so we know what, what exactly what it is. And I'm going to hit tag configuration, GA4 configuration. That's what you want to do here. Now all you need to do is put measurement ID there put that one so that's the one we copied from here that i showed you earlier you want to copy that paste it in here and then what you want to do is hit the triggering box here and just go all pages page views all pages just so that it triggers it whenever somebody looks at it and then you just go save and now once you hit save this is where you have to be really careful just checking the tags that it's actually been done. It should be done. Now, what you need to do is hit submit. You have to hit submit here. If you don't, it's not going to work. So what you want to do is hit submit. And then you would just have to go through publish. You can add any comments if you want to talk about what you've done, just so you know for later. But I'm just going to skip that because I'm the only one doing this here. So you've done that and now it's published. So now the code is published on the website. So now that the tag is published on the website, the last thing that you want to do in this step is to make sure that it's actually firing when somebody lands on the website. So the way you do that is you go up here and you hit preview. And what's going to happen is this is going to open and it's going to ask you to input your website URL, which should be pre-populated. But if it's not, just enter the URL of the website. And now it's going to try and connect. So now you'll see here, you got the, the debug URL and it says connected here. So now what you want to do is just go back to this tab, hit continue, and then make sure that here under tags fired with tags, you want to make sure that this actually says tags fired and it displays your tag. I've got two because I've made one just for the example in this video. This was the old one, but you can see that under tags fired, it has fired both of them. So this just means that your analytics uh, tag is actually firing. And so Google knows that um, it, it's tracking the person on the website. So now what you want to do is to make sure that it's actually getting to Google Analytics is go to the Google Analytics and go, you want to close this window, just hit next. And you've got data collection is pending, but it should now show you that it's actually there because we've actually got on it. So let's go to home and it should now, it says no data received. I'm going to just skip this for now. This is just to migrate from universal analytics. You don't need to do this if you're following these instructions. 
Um, so now it's saying that it's not fired. So I'm going to refresh my homepage and now it should fire. Okay, so this is a good example. So sometimes it won't do it because Google Analytics does require sometimes up to 24 hours to show the data. So if it doesn't show up here automatically, then what you want to do is go to admin and then scroll down here in the middle section and go to debug view. And now here it will show you live events if you've done everything properly. So in theory, this should now fire even in debug. So let's reload. Okay, so it's not showing up yet even in debug view. So sometimes this does happen. Google Analytics sometimes does take up to you know 24 hours, as they say, to show this data. So if this is not showing up for you, then just wait 24 hours and come back here and check again. One other thing you can check is in Google Tag Manager, in the preview, you've got these tags here. So you've got the, the general Google Tag Manager tag. You can also click the actual analytics tag and just make sure that it's done hit sent and it shows the page view Google Analytics hit here. So that means it has actually sent it. So I'm going to show you an example of what this looks like in one that works. So I'm going to open my other one here that is working. And this one will show you what it's going to look like in the debug view. You can see here because this one was already set up previously. You can see it says page view here. So if I go here now and I refresh this, And you can see here how it shows page view. So once that shows up as page view, then you know that it's actually working. So that's how you want to check in Google Analytics. So once it's actually shown the page view, that means that you've done all this correctly, all the steps have been done and the tag is actually firing Google Analytics is getting the information. So that's all you need to do for this tutorial to just set up the tag. Now in the next video, what I'm going to show you is how to actually track phone number clicks email link clicks and form submissions that go to a thank you page. So I'm going to hit put the link below this video to that video. So if you want to set that stuff up, just click that link and watch that video.